All right, it's uh, pretty close to 11 o'clock Saturday night, and here's the new camper showing up. Marky G is delivering it for me, all the way down from New Hampshire. This is the first time I've actually seen it. I bought this online at the uh, Copart Auto Auction because he's a dealer, but you don't have to be a dealer to buy from Copart. All right, back it up. Watching the roof. Ain't happening. All right, I'm gonna cut this off. This is not happening. It's too big. All right, hi there, YouTube. Here's the moment I've been waiting for about two months. I'm going to give you a fresh view of this camper that I've been talking about. I got this online. This is actually last night was the first time I've seen it. I have not touched it yet. I'm just now opening the doors and compartments. There's cardboard over all the windows. Keep the sun out. Needs a good cleaning. On this side here, I've got uh, a double gas tank, which according to the brochure I looked up online wasn't even an option, but I'm glad it's got it. Two propane tanks. I'm doubtful that the refrigeration unit works. Doesn't look too good. As of right now, there's nothing happening, but like I said, you're seeing this raw footage. I have not touched this. I like the way this thing sits way down on the ground. That's great. Much bigger than the Adela Hobo one I had. I think some old people own this. Older than me, that would really make them old. It looks like he went a little happy with the silicone around the window, but there's no leaks. You're seeing this raw, I have not touched it. There's the cardboard I was telling you about. There's the power cord I got it plugged into the garage. This is where a battery would go. An outside light, the van, uh, the vent, the outside shower, and as you can see, at that tie down in the back with all that silicone, I saw that in a picture on the auction. Looks like he might have ripped that out, which is fairly common on these. I've, this is number six, I think, for me. People like to crank them down in the truck for all they're worth, and it's just wood down there, and they pull them out. But it's only one siding, so. I can peel that back and have a peek at it. I'll fix it. All right, I'll let you have a look on the inside. And you get to see this just how I got it. This is the back side. That little door down there is the, uh, the dump station. It's a water heater. The sewer hose. Sadly, I just measured that compartment, which has like a rod locker storage, goes all the way to the front. And my little Predator generator is too big. It won't go in there. Damn it. And it had, came with these uh, tie downs. All right, let's take a walk inside. This is as delivered just got here like last night about 11 o'clock sorry for moving the camera around I'm trying to do a bunch of things at once here there we go all right here's the inside it's dark in here because I got to take the stuff off the windows I haven't touched it I wanted to give a, a before and after view Good bit of a mess. Not tore up though. That's 
where my AC will be going. On the floor there, there appears to be a brand new Samsung built-in microwave, RV like microwave. Still got the plastic on the touch buttons. I'm gonna guess it's gonna go right up there in that cabinet. And then here's a little uh, storage closet. And lo and behold, I actually have a bathroom. How nice is that? That's pretty good. Who's that old guy in the mirror? Oh, that's me. I like Lance campers. They're pretty nice. This is a 1998. Let's see what's in here. Oh, some kind of red stuff. Antifreeze, probably. You know, that's somebody was dying. It's just like a boat. I had a 2002 Lance 1130. It was just friggin' huge. Way too much. This is perfect for me. Overhead storage. It's got everything in here too. There's the, the uh, cable for the camper. That's $100. I already got one in my cart on eBay saves. I don't have to buy that now. And this folds down to make a bed for a kid, but no kids so that's not going to be an issue there's the table actually has a little stereo that works we were playing with this last night it's 33 gallon fresh water tank don't have big hopes for the refrigerator, I have it turned on and it's not doing anything, but I mean, who knows? Let's just click, could be up with it. Four cubic foot refrigerator, that would be nice if it worked. That's gas, propane, and 12 volts. And up here we've got the uh, forward berth. There's some storage on the sides. You're seeing this live, untouched. I have not touched this camper. There's the cardboard in the windows. I gotta. What you're seeing, I'm seeing, I have not done anything to it. Nice three burner stove. Light works. Fan works, light works, that's good. Overhead storage, some sort of extra something over there. Thinking that's where the microwave's gonna go up here in this cabinet. Here's your TV hookup and some more switches. I'll have to figure out what that is. And then what's under here? Under the sink. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, look at that. Confirmed mouse kill. Oh, that's awesome. Everybody should have one of those. How about that? When I tell you this was a raw video, it's raw. What's up, dude? You coming in to check it? Yeah, you know about the campus, huh? Yeah, you don't need to see the mouse. We got a nice clean oven. Look at that. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. It's spotless. What do we got going on here? That's loose. Check into that. I'll never use the oven anyway. And we got the uh, systems monitor. Well, oh, pump's going. How about that? Well, here it is. I haven't even cleaned it, I haven't touched it. It's got all the books, all kinds of stuff came with it. The mothball smell in here is unbelievable. It's packed with mothballs. Now bear with me, I'm going to go up the ladder and show you the roof. I think I'm going to shut this off and turn it on again. Be right back. Alright, made it up here on the roof without killing myself. Nice uh, Lance aluminum roof, unmolested, that's the factory sealant. I have to come out here and bleach this down, pressure clean it. This uh, skylight here is where the AC is going. I can 
can see already I'm gonna have to uh, do some careful planning for my solar this is gonna have at the minimum those two 250 watt solar panels I had on the other camper I may ditch that TV antenna that's useless I don't watch TV we'll have to see how that works out so anyway that's the roof as I got it all right I'm going back down all right well there you have it there's the first peak of the new soon-to-be totally solar-powered off-grid capable uh, camper so you got to see it here live untouched dead mouse and all I don't know if the dog likes it you like the camper tundra do you like it shaking the tail yep yep he likes it okay that's good if he likes it we're good all right there's a quick peek at the camper I won this on the Copart auto auction site um, <clears throat> my brother Mikey G is a, a auto dealer but you do not have to be a dealer to go on Copart you can be a private individual I bid four hundred and fifty dollars for this camper and I put a top bid of five hundred and fifty dollars never thinking I would get it and I was the only one that bid on it so I got it for 450 bucks plus uh, I think it was $648 with the fees you have to pay at the auction the internet fee and a dealer fee and all kinds of fees and anytime you buy these you're, you're looking 250 to 350 minimum on top of whatever you bid and then I had to get it down here so I'm probably in it for uh, close to a grand right now and I did score a super deal on a brand new uh, Atwood air conditioner and I bought that one in particular because it only draws 1200 watts power all right so there it is I'll do an update when I clean it up and start working on it now I'm gonna test it out see what works and what don't all right thanks for watching there's the uh, new higher dollar hobo unmolested untouched by me so far all right hope you enjoy it hope it wasn't too noisy and too shaky thanks for watching